Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Where are we going next? Today we're back in Mexico and we're here at the Barcelo Maya Palace. We're gonna take a look at the buffet offerings here for breakfast and dinner. So sort of a special thing, they have like a, two different buffets. So they have an international buffet called the Mirador and a Mexican buffet called La Hacienda. So depending on like the actual capacity of the resort, they will open one of these and rotate them on a day-to-day -day basis. But today, it's very busy on the, at the resort, so they have the Hacienda Buffet and the Mirador Buffet open. So if you go to one and it's full, they'll just like ask you to go to the other side. So um, I'll head inside right now, we'll check out the breakfast offerings, and then we'll follow that up with the uh, dinner offerings here at the Maya Palace. So here's, this is the Mirador side, I've just walked in and we'll head into the buffet area just now. All right, so we'll start here in this, this is a very big buffet. So this is the Mirador buffet, essentially what we're looking at right now. And then uh, if we walk through this door just to the left, this leads into the Hacienda. So you can sit at either restaurant or either dining room and make your way between the two different buffet rooms. So I guess we'll start here. We gotta start somewhere and maybe we'll end up right here at the end of the breakfast buffet. So there's some toast here and bagels. You can toast them in this toaster here. You can see there's a uh, omelet station here. It's up all the kinds of different toppings. And they'll make you a fresh omelet right here. Here's some paprika potatoes. We got some um, fajitas and we got some rice and sauteed vegetables here. Just beside that, we've got lots of different uh, offerings for a beverage. We have some milk alternatives like almond and soy and um, lactose free milk. We've got some orange juice, green juice, papaya, pineapple juice, watermelon, and like a banana smoothie. And then I don't know if you can take this. This is like sort of for decoration only. I could probably take some bananas, but there's some beautiful decoration here. Over here on this station, there's a beautiful statue of a zebra, and it's uh, looking over some different cakes and desserts, as you can see. There's no nameplates on these ones, but you can kind of get a sense of some of the different sweets and different uh, sweet breads that are offered here in this dessert island. Across from the dessert island over here is a beverage station. All kinds of different teas, as you can see here. And then there's a coffee machine as well. This is self-serve, however, if you wanted, you could just ask your waiter at your table to bring you any kind of uh, beverage you'd like for your breakfast. Over here, I really like what they did with this kids' corner. They've got Barsi mini food. The buffet's actually like lowered down for kids. So if we take a peek in here, we can see some beautiful sandwiches. There's some yogurts here, different flavored yogurts. There's even some cupcakes. Over here, there's some quesadillas and potato wedges, some fried sausage, and then some stuffed apple with like, a look, it looks like a little like jelly in the middle, and then some Monte Cristo sandwiches in the back. Over here is a veggie station. So we've got some veggies, we've got some uh, cucumber, tomato, assorted peppers, lettuce, carrots, um, some more lettuce in the back, corn, and some uh, panela cheese. And if you look over here, we can see another omelet station, which are very popular here at the resort, that are making some fresh omelets. I'll give you a little sneak peek of the uh, offerings here for omelets. So as you can see, there's some uh, zucchini, some spinach, corn, tomato, mushroom, pepper, onion, and they usually have some ham here too. At the omelet stations, they can always make you some um, fresh fried eggs as well, if you prefer that. Here's some more desserts, cinnamon rolls, croissants, and chocolate-filled pastries. And over here, we've got some ham with uh, apple. So this is the last breakfast buffet tour we've done of all the resorts. And it looks like this one has quite a few more offerings than say the Tropical Beach Colonial and Caribe. So just keep that in mind if you're a bit of a foodie. Breakfast sausage, some boiled eggs, bacon and Spanish sausage. Across from that over here, we've got some um, hot chocolate here. We've got some uh, French toast in here. If we look, we can see that. We've got some pancakes and waffles. And then over here, we've got some um, different toppings. We've got some chocolate sauce, syrup, um, some marmalades, and then we've got some fresh honey coming off the honeycomb and then dripping down into this little bowl here for fresh honey. Over here, we've got some green and red sauce, pico de gallo. We've got some Mexican sauce. So different things to top up your meal with. Some cheese and limes. Over here is some mushrooms, some beans, some uh, grilled peppers, and then some um, fried eggs and green sauce, with only one left. And then just beside me, another omelet station. So I think that's number three, if I'm not mistaken now. And then the omelet station just over there where we were, we just came around the corner, and we can see some 
scrambled eggs with um, ham. We see some hash browns, some more scrambled eggs, just traditional style. Scrambled whites back there. And then some scrambled eggs with bacon and finally some breakfast sausage. So that does it for the outer side of the buffet. We're gonna take a look at some of the inside here, these islands. Um, we can see there's some all kinds of different breads, breads with different seeds. And then across from that, we have some um, milk, some white and chocolate milk with some bowls to go along with any cereals here. So we've got some Fruit Loops as a fan favorite for Mona and I as kids. We have some All Bran and then some uh, Fruit Loops chocolate Rice Krispies and Corn Flakes in these containers. And some Corn Pops and Special K. Over here we have all kinds of Yoplait um, bottled yogurts with different apple, mango, coconut. Over here we've got some um, jellos and fruit salads with granola, different fruits here, guava, apple, mango, peach, tangerine, all kinds of great stuff to kind of add to your plate. Some cookies over here too, because why not? And then over on this side we've got some um, hot oatmeal and then some hot chocolate. You can put that in this cup and have some oatmeal for breakfast. And holy cow, take a look at this donut wall here. There's all kinds of different assortments of donuts, as you can see here, different colors, different icings. Definitely a, a favorite for the kids here, I bet. And adults alike, of course. And we have some whole fruits here, like apple, guava, banana, peach, pear, some more banana, peach, some kiwi, and banana. Coming across, we can see some orange juice, apple juice, grapefruit juice. We can see some pineapple juice and tangerine. And now here is the, um, kind of cured meats and cold meat. There's like actually a full prosciutto over here that you can, it looks like the uh, chefs have cut up here and you can grab some off of the prosciutto there. Here we have some cheese, we have adam cheese, um, bell pepper salami, smoked turkey ham, marble cheese, pepper jack cheese and salami. We have some turkey ham, provolone, hawaka cheese and then calabrese in the back. And then wrapping around to the other side, we have some fresh fruits. So we have some pineapple, honeydew, cantaloupe, watermelon, and papaya. And then just beside that, we have some yogurt. Some yogurt here, cantaloupe, cottage cheese. We have some mango. This is my favorite thing to get for breakfast. Banana with granola. And finally, some pear. And then some toppings to top up your yogurts with here. Holy cow, that was a marathon. <laughs> That's it for this room. So now we're gonna head into the Hacienda to take a look at the offerings in the Hacienda room. All right, so I just took a little lap around the Hacienda room here. Um, there really isn't anything different, to be honest. The only thing that's different is the decor in here. So Mirador's got more international vibes. And then the Hacienda has, as you can see, like this colorful kind of Mexican ceramic pot or vase. Um, really, that's it. It's just like the style in here. But maybe at dinner time, when we come back a little later, we'll see that things maybe change a little bit more as we uh, enter into Hacienda versus Mirador. Uh, I am seeing actually here this gluten-free area. So there's, I didn't see that over in the Mirador. Uh, so that's one change. But other than that, we've got like omelet station here. We've got an omelet station over here as well. We've got um, all kinds of different like pancakes and things and oatmeals. So there's pretty much the same stuff over here. Nothing really has changed, um, but they might rotate things in and out to make it a little bit more Mexican on this style versus international. But from what I'm seeing, everything is pretty much the same. So I guess with that, um, there's not really much new to see here. So what we'll do is we'll just um, turn this over to dinner time so we can take a look at some of the dinner offerings here in the Hacienda and the Mirador. All right, welcome back to the dinner buffet for the Barcelo Maya Palace. We're here in the lobby area as we were in breakfast time. It's lit up beautifully as you can see, the nice chandelier above us. We're gonna head inside and take a look at the uh, buffet and the food offerings here at dinner time. So again, the Hacienda is open, the dining room is open. And also over here, the Mirador buffet is open too. So you can choose which dining room you'd like to sit in. And then the two buffets kind of connect in the back with different food offerings. So let's go check it out. All right, so we're here in the Mirador buffet. This is the international buffet. We'll uh, start things off over here at the Barsi mini food corner. So this is the kids corner here. As you can see, they've got some like nice little fruit cocktails for the kids. And then moving over here for the hot food for the kids, we got some pasta with cheese. We got some chicken nuggets. 
We've got some ham and cheese sandwiches, grilled, and then some sweet potato fries. Over here we have a pasta station. So here's uh, some of the pastas you can get customized. We have these uh, fusilli, or uh, these are penne actually, yep. Yeah. And then spaghetti, and then you got some different toppings you can add to your pasta here. So we can get a better view of them for you there. And then the uh, gentleman behind here will be happy to uh, provide you with a pasta. I cook them over these nice little hot skillets here. So we can add some cheese on the end too. All right, and just down from the uh, pasta station, we've got a wood fire that's uh, cooking up some pizzas. We've got some pizzas here. We've got some calzones. We've got some vegetable pizzas, some pepperoni, cheese pizzas. Lots of pizza here. They look great. Over beside that, we have some peck and duck with a nice glaze on it. And then just down from the pizzas here and the pasta, we have some vegetable rice and chicken fried rice and then a shrimp fried rice. Across from that, we've got some soups today. We've got some miso soup here and we've got some shrimp tanka soup. So we got some fresh salmon and then some um, different poke bowls already prepared here. That's kind of a nice little thing. I haven't seen that at the other hotels. So, so tuna and salmon poke bowls. Here we got some tuna sashimi and some salmon sashimi here with some soy sauce. So we got like a kind of a nice little international selection so far. Here we've got some different sauces and glazes for chicken satays and chicken skewers. We've got some pork tempura and chicken satay here and some beef skewers in the back. Over here we can get a stir fry so they can get some beef or chicken. Fry it up on the grill here and get a customized stir fry with some of these accompaniments. We've got some carrot and onion, mushroom, some cabbage, zucchini, and peppers. And then here we got some uh, chicken in yellow curry. We've got some uh, beef with red curry here. So we've got some potatoes in the back, some white rice, and then some pork and gravy here. So before we go check out the hacienda section over here, we're gonna go finish up inside the Mirador International Buffet. We got another uh, chicken stir fry, or we got another stir fry section here. Hello. <laughs> so second stir fry station, and then we've got some beef chop suey some mushrooms, we've got some chicken in the back roasted, some uh, roasted shrimp with shell on, fish with teriyaki sauce, and then cabbage with sweet and sour sauce in the back. And then over here we've got some um, different vegetables. Uh, we've got some cabbage and papaya, a mushroom salad, and then we've got some mixed vegetable salads here too, and some carrots. So that does it for the outside of the uh, buffet. Here's the uh, bread station here. You can grab a dinner roll to go along with your meal. And I love the decoration here with this island and this beautiful zebra uh, sculpture. All right, so we're gonna take a look at the inside here, these islands in the middle. We'll start with this one over here. We've got some uh, different cold vegetables here to make a nice salad. As you can see here, there's no nameplates, but it's kind of dark here actually too. It's hard to see, but I'll give you a sneak peek at some of these salads. We've got some, looks like cucumber, um, beets and carrots, and then a green salad. So yeah, there's some peas and uh, some corn over here. And then lots of dressings here to top up your salad with lots of oil options as well. See some oil with thyme, oil with garlic, red wine vinegar, oil with basil, lots of options and some greens here to top up your salad too. Here's a really special station here. We've got lots of sauces, but on the other side here, as we come around, we're gonna see a huge sushi buffet. So at the sushi buffet, we've got California roll, We've got a salmon roll, we've got a tekamaki roll, and then some of these, this one looks like a tuna roll. I can't tell what this one is, almost looks like tuna as well, but with different like toppings, like fish eggs and uh, different spices. Here we have a salmon nigiri, an octopus nigiri. This one is a uh, sole fish nigiri. So nigiri just with the like rice ball underneath with like a raw piece of fish on top. Tuna nigiri, with this, this one was just brought out, so it's nice and fresh. And then on the end, we had a uh, squid nigiri here too. So lots of options for sushi here, as you can see at the sushi buffet. And then wrapping around the other side here, we've got some swordfish tataki. So like lightly uh, cooked just on the outside, but mostly raw. And then here we have salmon tataki with different uh, sauces with it. And a tuna tataki too. These look really, really good. And they got some wasabi and different uh, uh, dressings and uh, gingers and soy sauce to go along with that. Over here we have like, looks like some hand rolls too, wrapped in like a rice paper. And then to finish things off here in the Mirador Buffet, we've got a dessert table here which looks beautiful. 
different tarts. And like we got these like little champagne glasses with some mousse inside. Looks like a cheesecake I think here, some cookies. Looks like a pie that's kind of cut up into little small bite-sized triangles. This looks like a nice little fruit tart. And then similar things just on the back side of the dessert table here. And I even saw some people picking out, picking over these chocolate covered strawberries for dessert. All right, so we're heading into the Hacienda dining room now. And straight ahead of us, we're going to start in the, or in the buffet room with the desserts here. Give you a sneak peek of these here. And uh, as I said for breakfast time, a lot of the offerings here at breakfast were the same, but we'll take a peek around and see if uh, some of the offerings for dinner are different than the international room, which I have a feeling they will be. So we'll start over on this side. So just over here we've got some like uh, cucumber water, sour soft watermelon, so just some juices here. Around this side we've got, uh, looks like a Mexican corner here. We've got some corn on the cob, and then we've got some uh, green corn. We've got some empanadas and some uh, uh, chicken salbutes. Salbutes, yeah. And then these are tacos. Beef taco, nice, that's awesome. And they make them specially here, right? Very good, thank you. Some toppings here to go along. And then over here we've got some roasted chicken, some mushroom stew in the back, a pork stew, and then some zucchini and uh, chicken with a white sauce. Over here we've got some hot oatmeal, coffee, and some hot chocolate. And then some dinner rolls on the other side here. Across from that, if you wanted to test your palate with some different peppers, we've got some habanero chili peppers. Um, here and we've got some chili peppers, some ordinary ones back there. We've got some dry tree chili peppers, chipotle, and then traditional jalapeno chili peppers or jalapeno peppers here. So um, if you're really looking for some spicy food, I have a feeling these ones and these ones are going to be very, very spicy. Over here we've got a huge kind of like uh, spread of like different vegetables and uh, onion and chicken. A big, big roast here. Zucchini. This is really beautiful. I'm sure you can get them to cut you any bit of this you'd like and they'll put it on your plate for you. Over here there's a pork soup. And then in these little pots we've got some steamed mussels and some calamari or squid. And then just to the right of that we've got some uh, fajitas, beef fajitas, chicken in a chili sauce, grilled salmon, roast onion, and some wedge potatoes with mashed potatoes beside them. So again, there's a lot to offer here. We've only about halfway done this dining room, but so much food offering here at the palace in comparison to some of the other restaurants we've seen. Here we got shrimp with chipotle chili, steamed carrot and zucchini, we've got some octopus with jalapeno chili, roast bell pepper, some spring rice with corn and peas, and then squid with vegetable. And then some nice little Mexican decoration on the wall here at the Hacienda. And then coming over to Parsi Food Corner, or Parsi uh, Kids Corner, we've got some sweet potato fries, we've got some ham and cheese sandwiches, some regular french fries, mac and cheese, and then some samosas, ketchup to go along with that, and then some Yoplait yogurts, all kinds of different flavors. Actually, it looks like they just have the natural flavor, but maybe in the middle they'll have the other flavors. Over here, I saw some people walking out with them, and here they are here. They've got some cotton candy. Maybe you can grab some cotton candy on the way out and take it to the show tonight, which is Michael Jackson. And then the uh, different candied apples, and lots of different, like, uh, sugary sweets over here. We got some like little sugar whales, uh, different like jujubes -jube and things like that. Gummy worms. So yeah, this is like a beautiful like kids corner here to get all kinds of different sugary treats. And just on the other side, we've got some like different like uh, fruits in like a glaze. Just finishing off with this corner over here. So over here, we've got a uh, taco station here. We've got some like pre-made meat already and they'll fry you up some tacos here. Got some toppings to go along with that here. Inside we've got some uh, different meat options and rice, some red rice, beef with potato, beef and onion, some vegetables and mushrooms, zucchini tomato sauce, and then pork ribbon green sauce. And finally some things to go along with your tacos. We've got some sour cream, cheese, guacamole, jalapeno, pico de gallo, spicy red sauce, and then some lime. And then we're back where we started, so we'll wrap around the intersection here, take a look at some of the offerings. We've got some really cool like um, fruits on like sticks here. We've got watermelon, pineapple, 
and then same thing over here as well and then if you open up this there's like a nice little chocolate sauce in here you can put on your uh, fruit sticks so just to the left of that we've got some cold ham some pork um, York ham salami in the back we've got some calabrese turkey ham we've got some uh, different cheeses like gouda edam marble cheese we've got some swiss cheese mozzarella habanero cheese and then some really nice fruit offerings here we've got some guava papaya dragon fruit and kiwi pineapple and cantaloupe some grapes grapefruit oranges we've got some mango and then some watermelon over here as well so lots of options i like how they have the serving bowls as like big watermelons that are cut out and they're very nicely designed on the outsides too as opposed to just traditional dishes there's a small little gluten-free section here you can get some muffins some pastries and some breads in here too gluten-free and then on the inside we got some different uh options for dessert we've got some cookies we've got some like uh, little eclairs and we got some like sweet breads we got some churros looks like some more eclairs here more churros and more cookies and then finally over on this side we've got all kinds of different breads and baguettes some fresh cheese to go along with that blue cheese and then some um, kind of prepared salads here we've got like a squid salad and like a orange in the back we've got a, another squid salad this one's in a cucumber this is a fish ceviche here we've got a seafood ceviche and they're in avocados and here we've got an octopus salad and oranges again here we've got some soft serve ice cream we've got some uh, strawberry and uh, it looks like it says yogurt ice cream but um, not exactly sure what's in these but it says strawberry and yogurt ice cream over here we've got uh, chocolate and vanilla soft serve and then over here to finish things off we've got a couple more cold salads we've got some cactus leaves ham salad eggplant salad we've got a tuna salad with rice zucchini salad portobello salad and then all kinds of different like cabbages and lettuces and peppers to make up a nice cold salad for yourself here's all the different oils similar to what we saw before and we're back inside the mirador it's a little bit less noisy in here so we're gonna end things off here hopefully that was really helpful there was a lot to cover in these buffets which means there's a lot to offer hope you guys found that helpful if you did give this video a like help support our channel and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to find out where we're we going next